Grandpa's Shorts. Grandma put down the telephone. The family wants us to join them on a holiday at the beach, she told Grandpa. Oh, a beach holiday? That'll be fun, said Grandpa. We haven't been to the beach for years. I wonder where my shorts are. Have you seen them? he asked. Grandma looked puzzled. What shorts? she said. My beach shorts, said Grandpa. You know the ones. They look like army shorts. I used to wear them at the beach. Oh, they'll have been thrown out years ago, said Grandma. You never wear shorts. Oh, but I used to, replied Grandpa. They'll be here somewhere. I'm going to find them. He searched through all of his drawers. He looked among his shirts he and his underclothes and his pyjamas. Grandma came into the bedroom. What are you doing? There are no shorts in there, she told him as she tidied up his mess. They'll have been thrown out years ago. But Grandpa said, they'll be here somewhere. I'm going to find them. He looked in the cupboard above the wardrobe. He found a box of old photographs. Oh, look at this, he called to Grandma. Here's a picture of me in my beach shorts. Grandma looked at the photo and smiled. They'll have been thrown out years ago, she said. Why not buy a new pair? Grandpa was horrified. What's wrong with my old ones? They'll be here somewhere. I'm going to find them. Grandpa went into the spare room. He found cartons of toys. He found shelves of old books. He found a cat um, asleep on the bed. But nowhere could he find his shorts. Grandma came into the room. What are you doing? There are no shorts in there, she said as she tidied up his mess. They'll have been thrown out years ago. But Grandpa said, They'll be here somewhere. I'm going to find them. He looked in the cupboard, under the stairs. There, hidden away, in the darkest corner, was a dusty old suitcase. Grandpa dragged the suitcase into the hall and opened it and looked inside. It was full of old clothes. He pulled out dresses and baby clothes and an old coat. Then, Grandpa pulled out a pair of baggy khaki army shorts with big pockets. I found them, he cried excitedly. I knew they'd be here somewhere. Grandma looked at them and frowned. You can't wear those to the beach, she exclaimed. Why not, said Grandpa. They're just right for the beach. He looked back in the suitcase and pulled out a flowery shirt. Oh no, groaned Grandma. Nobody wears shirts like that anymore. Well, I like it, said Grandpa. Just right for the beach. Grandpa took his beach clothes into the bedroom. Look at this, he said cheerfully a few minutes later. Grandma smiled at him. You can't wear those old things to the beach, she said. Why not, asked Grandpa. They are comfortable and cool. I like them. Just right for the beach. The next day, Grandma washed the flowery shirt and ironed it. She shifted the button on the shorts to make them fit, and she washed and ironed them too. It was a hot, summery day at the beach. The sea was blue and sparkling. The children were playing on the sand. Come and play cricket, Grandpa, they called. Right out, said Grandpa. I'll just get into my beach clothes. Grandpa came out in his shorts and shirt and walked down to the sea, the beach at the sea. What a surprise! All of the children were wearing baggy long shorts with big pockets and all of them were wearing bright flowery shirts. They looked at Grandpa. Whoa! Where did you get those shorts Grandpa? Grandpa turned and winked at Grandma. Well it did take me a while to find them, he said. They're so cool, said the children. 
Grandpa beamed. Yeah, they are cool, he said happily. Just right for the beach.